We've got Thelma and Louise ready to drive off. So I'm going to get some containers. I think we got enough. I think this will easily do it. If they drive off here, and if they fall straight onto that, that'll definitely be enough. So I think what we're going to do now is just leave it like that. Oh, my days. This is going to be awesome. When are they going to... Here we go. They're going to drive. They're driving now. They're driving now. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. I was not expecting that to happen. That's absolutely amazing. To win one of these consoles, just click the link in the description below to my giveaway. It takes just a few seconds to enter, absolutely free as well, so good luck and enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today, you know how much I love Easter eggs. I absolutely love them. I go crazy over Easter eggs, and I've seen a few of you guys ask me to see if we can save one of the most epic Easter eggs in GTA 5, and this is the Thelma and Louise Easter egg. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what this is, if you come over to this location, I'll quickly pinpoint it on the map. If you come over here at 7 o'clock, I think we have, yeah, just 30 minutes to go. If you come over here at 7 o'clock, then what you will notice is some police cars will start driving up the hill and spawning in and stuff and you will see kind of like a scene will spawn in and then later on down the line you will notice there will be some sort of voodoo car like an old country car with two girls inside it and they drive straight off the edge. Now this is actually a reference to two very iconic and famous movie characters. Uh, they play a role as Thelma and Louise and they basically drive off a cliff and they die etc. What we're going to do in today's video is see if we can kind of save them because this isn't a cutscene so surely we can save these characters so we're gonna have some fun with this and if we can save them I think I'm just gonna mess around with these characters and just have some fun with them in general so it should spawn in any moment now what's the time now it's uh, just coming up to seven o'clock so before we get into this video I just want to kindly ask each and every one of you if you could be ever so kind enough to smash that thumbs up button that would be greatly appreciated especially if you want this series to continue and there we go boys the scene has just spawned in so so before we do anything, I just want to quickly show you exactly what does happen. So as you can see, we've got some police cars. We've got the sheriff saying, don't do this, don't jump, getting ready for the car to back up. <laughs> but little do you know, guys, Thelma and Louise have another trick up their sleeve. They're not backing out and they decide to drive straight off the cliff. And there they go straight to their death. Now, sometimes the car blows up. It blew up this time. That was pretty epic. Sometimes it just crashes and both the people die and stuff. But nonetheless, this is still an awesome Easter egg. And we're going to see if we can save these characters by placing down objects, containers, and maybe even a wall as well, just at the end of this cliff. So let's have some fun with this, and I will see you guys in just a second. Oh wait, they just, they respawn themselves. Okay, that's pretty cool. They literally just respawned again, so we can do this again. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is slow down time, so these, these don't drive off the edge, etc. So we've got Thelma and Louise ready to drive off. They'll start moving any moment now, as uh, the sheriff is starting to, to walk up to the car, I guess, but... Oh my days, this is awesome. We also have a helicopter. No, that's nothing to do with this. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is now go into my object spooner. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so interested to see what happens. I think this will save them. I actually think it will save them. So I'm going to get some containers. We're just going to go for these ones, I guess. And we'll see if we can make a little platform or something for them to hit. So if we follow the tracks, there's the tracks. So a container right about there should be able to save them. I think we're going to bring it lower, do something like that, and we're just going to drag them all out. Is this the right way? No, that's the wrong way. Okay, so I'm going to make like a little base of containers. So this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to do a little time lapse and stuff. So uh, I'll see you guys in just a second whilst I place down these containers. But this is going to be awesome. This is going to be so cool. Speed I think we got enough. I think this will easily do it. If they drive off here, and if they fall straight onto that, that will definitely be enough. So I think what we're going to do now is just leave it like that. We're going to let them go through, and we'll see if this works and does the job. So let me quickly speed up time. Oh my days, this is going to be awesome. When are they going to- Here we go, they're going to drive. They're driving now. They're driving now. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh, it works! It works! They hit the containers, but they still- <laughs> 
I love how I'm really happy it worked, yet they still killed themselves. I need to put like a little barrier on this, and I think we did this way too early, because they cleared the entire thing and landed on like the last two. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna extend this quite a bit, um, and then we're gonna try this out again. Okay, so this should definitely stop the vehicle. We know it hit into the containers, and to be honest, when it did hit the containers, it hit like these two, so it has all of this distance to try and stop the vehicle, which should be more than enough distance to stop Thelma and Louise from falling off the cliff. So what we're gonna do now is just change the time. We're gonna get Thelma and Louise to spawn back in, and uh, I'm just really interested to see what happens because I know we can save them now. So these are the two scenarios I can imagine. They drive off the edge, which as you can see, the tracks are here. They drive off this, they land on the containers, and they stop. That's it, that's final. Or, if they decide to drive off this, they land on the containers, stop, because they physically have to, and then keep driving to try and find a way off the containers, and then of course kill themselves by landing on the ground. I think those are the two scenarios, I think the second one will be much more funny. Oh boy, what are you gonna do, Thelma and Louise? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta drive sometime. Oh, here we go, boys! Here we go! Here- Oh! Oh! They stopped. Oh no, they're going! They're, they're doing it! They're doing it! Here we go! Here we go! What's gonna happen? Okay, they landed. <gasps> Whoa, that's so weird. Stay, stay, stay. No, don't do it. 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 Don't drive. I've saved you. I've saved you. Don't drive off the edge. You've got this. You've got this. No, <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Come on. I've saved you. Don't do this. Don't do this. It's still trying to go forward. That's so cool. I think what Rockstar Games have done is scripted it so the car will just keep going forward until it kills itself. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a doomsday robot. It's just gonna keep doing its thing until it's dead, that's it. So this car is gonna do its thing, it's gonna keep going forward until the car can drive no more. That's kind of scary and kind of terrifying and depressing as well. Just watch it. It's, it's trying to self-destruct itself. It's just a self-destructing car. Now we know that we can save them, which is awesome. And now we know they do interact with objects. I'm going to spawn in some ramps and stuff and some speed boosts and see if we can do anything fun with that. Are you going to do it, Thelma and Louise? This is going to be so cool. Are they going to do this? Are they going to do this? In your own time. In your own time. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. How, how far are they going to make it? Oh, 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 that's quite far. That's still quite far. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, I got another idea. I got another idea, guys. We're going to see if 100 pedestrians can stop Thelma and Louise. <laughs> the explosion is so brutal. We're just going to see if 100 pedestrians will stop Thelma and Louise. Or like, we're not even going to do 100, we're just going to do as many as we can possibly spawn in. I think we're going to go for 200 or something. I'm going to put them all down. And I want to see if they can stop the car. Oh my gosh. There's 100. we put down just over 100 so far. Okay, I'm also going to put them around the edges as well, so they can't exactly drive off the edge if they wanted to. Here we go. This is going to be so cool. This is actually going to be so cool. I seriously, I can't wait. I can't wait. Some cars will be able to make it through that. Like the fastest, the toughest ones will be able to do that. Um, but other cars, such as the Thelma and Louise one, might not be able to do that. Let's get our sniper rifle out. We should see everything. Where's our sniper? We should see everything spawn in any moment now. They finally spawned back in. What you will notice is everything has disappeared though because I actually had to restart my game because they weren't spawning in for some whatever reason. So what I'm, I'm gonna do is go back into my object spooner. We're then gonna get the hipsters again and we're gonna place them all down. So this won't take too long. I'll skip to when they're all put down. Okay, all the pedestrians have now been spawned down as you can see. Okay, when are you gonna jump? When are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do this? I think the pedestrians will be able to stop them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, 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 what's going to happen? Are they rethinking their strategy? Are they going to call it quits? Just drive. Oh my gosh, what's so difficult? Can they not go into the pedestrians? I don't think they can do this. I don't think they're allowed to go through pedestrians. I think that's it. They're not allowed to go through. We tried shooting. Shooting isn't working. Shooting is not doing justice here, guys. Let me reset the time. I'm going to go really far away from here, and then we're going to do it again and see if uh, we get any different results. But if it's the exact same result next time, then I can only assume 
that the car isn't programmed to go through pedestrians, so that's really interesting. I was not expecting Rockstar Games to do that to Thelma and Louise, because I really want to see what happens when they go into these pedestrians. There we go, time's now being sped up, whenever you're ready, and uh, we'll see if this many pedestrians can stop the car. I just want to see what happens when the car goes into them. Will the pedestrians go flying, will the car be stopped? I don't know, but here we go, it's driving, oh it's driving, it's slowing down, it's stopped. That's so cool! They programmed it so it wouldn't go into pedestrians. I had no idea. So if you want to stop Thelma and Louise, yes you can place down platforms, containers, whatever underneath, but all you need to do is put down a pedestrian, or maybe even stand in front of the car, and it can't go further. That's so cool. So that's how you stop them. It's so easy. I didn't realize it was that easy. I'm gonna see what happens if we just flip them around and put them back. Oh, no, 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 don't do this, don't do this, no! <laughs> I can't let you do that, unfortunately. My role is to save you both, not kill you both. Go on, go, 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 go! It, see, it won't do it, it won't do it, it can't do it. If we put the car right there, and then if we go back into this, follow the car down, there it is. See, the car is programmed to self-destruct, so it's just gonna keep going into that rock until the car can't drive anymore. So it will just go into the nearest object, which is actually pretty amazing. I had no idea Rockstar Games coded uh, this easter egg that way. So the car itself is going to keep destroying itself until it is destroyed, but if you put a pedestrian in front of it, then it can't go any further. So that's how you stop the vehicle. But you can mess around with this. You can have containers, you can have ramps, you can do so many awesome things. You can do so many really funny and entertaining things with this car and easter egg. And effectively, you can save the character. So this episode is a success. But look at this, they just flipped the car. Oh, they're climbing out. What are they going to do now? They're just going to run. So the pedestrians... In their mind, they want to survive, so the pedestrians are running away now, they want to survive. In the car's mind, the car just wants to blow itself up. So that's actually a huge success, you can save Thelma and Louise, I think that definitely deserves a thumbs up guys, especially if you enjoyed today's episode and if you found it entertaining, smash that thumbs up button and of course subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here, so you don't miss out on any more awesome stuff just like this on a daily basis. But that's actually pretty cool. You can save Thelma and Louise if you put pedestrians down, if you make a platform or some sort of platform which contains them. But if you don't contain the vehicle and if there's no pedestrians around, the vehicle is going to keep trying to self-destruct and destroy itself until it's flipped or if it just can't physically drive anymore. So that's awesome to see. I'm so glad we did this video. I'm glad you guys asked for it. So thank you so much. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.